Where am I now? Mm, I hope this works out. Hey! <gasps> Don't scare me like that! Grow up. You're obnoxious. Um, is something wrong? Where are we? Isn't this the underpass by the station? I can hear the trains. That's weird. How'd we get here? There's the mission! Set the curse sculpture free. You have 60 minutes. Fail and face erasure from the Reapers. Uh. Timer's back. What's it for? The mission. You really don't know? If we don't clear the mission before the timer hits zero, we'll both be erased! Sounds crazy to me. But maybe not that crazy. I saw it happen to those people by the station. And met a reaper. I can't even believe I'm entertaining that thought. But I know what I heard. Hmm. Wait. Why'd the date change on my phone? A day must have gone by. What? I think we fell asleep after the mission. But that's okay. We need to focus on today. Have you lost your mind? It's anything but okay. We were in the middle of the street in broad daylight. Why would we fall asleep? So this cursed sculpture, it's got to be talking about the statue of Hachiko. Maybe we passed out and then woke up here. Everything in between is a blank. But then what's the curse? Neku? Did someone drag us here, or... Come on, Neku, pay attention! Hey. hey! What, now you're ignoring me? If we don't work together, we'll fail the mission! You don't have to be like this. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? Alright, no point standing here. Let's go find Hachiko. And on that note, hey how's it going everybody, my name is Ray Fun, and welcome back to Let's Play The World Ends With You Solo Remix. In the last episode, we completed the first day by reaching 10-4. Of course, we also had to discover that if we couldn't clear this game within 7 days, we would be dead. And in this episode, we're gonna continue on with the second day by finding the cursed statue or sculpture of Hachiko. Now, around here, obviously, as we go to the left, What? Another wall? So now we're trapped in here. No, we'll never finish the mission now. All she ever does is whine. Why not? Because this is the way to Hachiko. Then we have to get through. We got past the wall yesterday. Is there some kind of rule? What should we do? Don't just stand there. Think of something. I am thinking. Maybe if for just one minute you could stop your bit, Huh? Neku, what is it? That guy in the red hoodie. I've seen him before. Neku, what are you looking at? That guy, you know him? I remember, he was at the crossing yesterday by the wall. Who is he? I'm going to try reading his mind. And now we have unlocked the feature to openly scan anyone, meaning that throughout the entire game, we can freely scan just as we did the first time when we were to scan. Of course, we cannot scan our partner, but we can also we are also unable to scan this person in particular. Hmm. hmm. What is it? I can't read him. What? What? You can't scan him? I had no trouble scanning people yesterday. Maybe the rules changed? Or maybe the pin is broken. Can we finish the mission without being able to scan? Hmm. What if it's just him? Maybe he's special. Neku! Ugh. What now? That guy is coming right toward us! You, 
Scan and erase all the noise in this area. Huh? What are you talking about? Are those the conditions to move on? I don't see any noise. The world is more than just what you see. He left. What a creepy guy. I don't know what his deal is, but he's part of the game, that's for sure. Which can mean only one thing. Interesting. His kind can't be scanned? The world is more than just what you see. So to find the noise... Hey, let's get rid of the noise. How? They're not here! Yes, they are. We have to scan for them. You think? Alright, let's try it. But first... I meant to ask you... Shouldn't you try some other pins? You've got more, right? Pins? Yeah, they should have given you a whole bunch. You're right. In my pocket. Why not test them out? How? Remember the flame pin yesterday? This one? Pyrokinesis! Well, I wasn't able to use it. So maybe... I get it. Certain pins only work for certain people. I've got to try them all and see. Talk about a hassle. Alright, let's see what I can do. Okay, now this segment of the game right here in the station underpass is going to be the tutorial for all of the, of the different types of pins because, well, like Shiki just said and like we've discovered, we have multiple pins at our disposal. So as we scan, we can encounter three different types of noise right here. So let's just go ahead and attack one of them. Alright, now the first pin psych that we have is the tapping type. Now tapping is mainly what we use for stuff like Shiki, for a good example that we've already seen before. We have the lightning and the bolt, and the bullets, my bad. Lightning and bullets, uh, honestly, I... I think the bullets are the most important ones in the game to me, the second most, honestly. But we'll get into that in a second. So, first let's go ahead and review the lightning, which is done... Well, actually, I'm not even sure if it'll work if we just tap, because I'm pretty sure if we tap on an enemy... Okay, we will do lightning damage, but of course, in addition, by just tapping any part of the screen in the direction of an enemy, if we can get closer back to Dixie Frog over there, we can shoot bullets, like so. And just because I want the thing to die, I'm actually just going to go over to him and kill him like so. I didn't really go over to him, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Alright, and we obtained the Thunderbolt and the Force Rounds pin. Force Rounds are basically the type of pin. I said tapping was type of it, but honestly, it can be classified into multiple categories. Whether it be tapping, Force Rounds, because pretty much pins like the Force Rounds will be bullets. They will always be bullets. Except for a very, very few exceptions. And we have controls on how to tap the iPad screen. Thank you, game. Alright, now the next up that we have is attacking the middle one. And the middle one, if I'm not mistaken, should reveal... S telekinesis, my bad. I was about to say psychokinesis, but that is... Well, psycho... psycho pyro... Actually, I think this is psychokinesis. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Obstacles using this pin site will enable you to launch obstacles over at other monsters. So, if we just go a little bit of our distance away and just swipe, we can push this. My clash of clan troops are ready for battle. Anyways, that was very, very bad of me. But for some reason, you also have the pyrokinesis pin here. Actually, I do know why. Because. Well, in addition to, since it is pyrokinesis and this is psychokinesis, psychokinesis is done by launching obstacles such as the motorcycle and these blockades out of the way. And then pyrokinesis is just um, creating flames from a distance. I don't really know if there's a better way to say that. So we obtained the psychokinesis pain. We did not obtain the pyrokinesis one since we already had it. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit too fast. It's been a pretty hectic day, so... I'm just going a little bit faster. I apologize if that's a little bit of a problem to you, but I'm going to try and slow down for some more dialogue and such. Alright, and now we have the last one, which contains my number one method of attacking, because it's the most easiest, the slashing pin psych. 
Now this, all you have to do is just slash the enemy, and you will be able to deal damage. It's basically like having a sword, so... You know me, I love swords. So just swipe, 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 and it's dead. See how easy it was? And that's why it's my favorite pin. Type. And it's confirmed as to be a shockwave. So this shockwave pin is the type for all of them. In fact, fun fact, excluding the Thunderbolt pin, actually, I don't even, I think it's including the Thunderbolt pin. Excluding the Thunderbolt pin, I don't know how many times I said that. All the other pin names are basically its own branch. So Psychokinesis would be every single type of pin that can do telekinesis attacks. Pyrokinesis is Pyrokinesis on its own, obviously. There are a couple of pins in the game that do similar things to Pyrokinesis, but that will be explained later in the game. Shockwave is slashing, so you will be finding more pins in the game that will allow you to slash and deal more damage and such. And force rounds, more bullets that will go exactly how we saw the force rounds go, and in even more unique ways. In more unique ways, that's what I meant. And control not a slash, because you know. We're so stupid, we can't even figure out how to swipe our fingers across the freaking screen! <clears throat> My bad. You were right, we have to scan to see the noise. And that takes care of them all. Jagged net. But what about the wall? It's still- Huh? It's gone! Why? Because we took out the noise. So that's a trick to getting past the walls. But that's odd. What's odd? I heard you can only beat the noise in pairs, but I managed just fine alone. Hmm, me too. Okay, I want to talk about this little line of dialogue here. For the DS version of this game, obviously, you and your partner fight on different sides. However, in this particular um, segment of the game where you have these tutorials on how to use all different types of pins and their sykes and types, this is where you actually will not be able to see your partner on the top screen. I think you might be able to, I'm not sure. If I am wrong, I will put it, I'll put the real information on screen because I can't remember since I have not played the DS version. I've only played the solo remix, which is what I'm obviously let's play, duh. So this line dialogue used to confuse me until I figured it out just now. Because I'm just smart like that. So how did we do it? You have a pact. Huh? That's the only reason you can hurt the noise. Without each other, you'd be hopeless. Wait, but... What is with that guy? He knows too much. He must be one of them. Well, anyway, you did great. Huh? What? You were able to use all the pins. So? You're like some kind of psych genius. Come on. Using a couple pins doesn't make anyone a genius. Don't be naive. The bigger question is where these came from. Huh? Neku, you have two player pins. So? So why two? You only need one. How should I know? Why do I have any of them? I need them for Sykes, so I can stop the noise from killing me. But how'd I get them? Well, um, the two is better than one, so, like, don't feel bad. You're the one who said I only need one. Think how lucky I am. My partner's a psych whiz. A genius. You're a genius, Neku. I'd never make it without you. If you're going to flatter someone, you could try to sound a little genuine. Neku, you listening? Stop that! I'm just trying to be nice. I'm listening. Well, how am I supposed to tell when you just stand there? You should take off those headphones. It's rude. Would you shut the hell up? I just met you. I don't like you. And I don't give a rat's ass if you think I'm rude. You don't have to yell. What am I gonna do? Now she's playing with her phone? Forget this. Hey, wait up! Oh. We get more money, and we get the new feature in this game, which is... Well, actually, it wasn't really a new feature. Well, it's not a new feature. It's just the feature that we have on the top left of the screen, 
which is the mail icon, just because in some bizarre event, or in any event, honestly, because I can see it happening, if you were to wander off and level grind, because there is level grinding in this game, and do some other stuff like exploring, shop, and whatever, and you forget your mission for the day, you can always check the top left and you'll read exactly what it says right here. Such as today's mission being to set the curse sculpture free. 60 minutes to have to complete it, and if we fail, we face erasure. I tried saying that differently, but I probably should have said it straightforward. Oh well, that's not really important. But what is important is that next time on The World Ends With You Stellar Mix, look what I did there, we are going to be going to the Statue of Hachiko to see if that curse can be lifted. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.